Hi, this is Ashley Sutherland and I'm a therapist with Play Therapy Connection and I want to talk a little bit about self-compassion as a regulation tool for parents and caregivers. Um, why it's important to be able to cultivate this practice and then I'll actually guide you through a short practice. Um, so research shows that many parents um, feel judged, whether that's from uh, family members, friends, other parents, um, or maybe just from the broader society. Um, and parents can really um, internalize those judgments and um, you know, direct it towards themselves. Um, this can be especially true if your child struggle, struggles to regulate their emotions and behavior. Um, again, society places a lot of shoulds and shouldn'ts around um, kids' behavior. And so if that is an area where your child struggles, um, many parents may be really hard on themselves about that. Um, and the trouble with um, chronic self-judgment or um, self-criticism is that it um, can be really dysregulating to the nervous system, um, which makes it much more difficult for um, parents to show up for the kids in, in the way that you want to and in the way that your kids need when they're struggling. Um, and so self-compassion is a practice that can really mitigate, um, you know, this harsh in, inner critic um, that you may have. Um, and so I do want to just, um, as a quick aside about self-compassion, um, there's a common misconception that equates self-compassion with um, self-pity or um, thinking of yourself as a victim. Um, and actually the opposite is true, that giving ourselves compassion really helps us to um, draw from our internal resources and really helps to bolster resilience. So I'm going to show you this practice um, that was developed by doc Dr. Kristen Neff. Um, she's done a lot of research around self-compassion and all the benefits that it can bring. Um, so it's a three-step process and this would be something that you would use anytime you're having a difficult uh, parenting moment or just a, a difficult moment in general. So the first step is to just notice that you're having a tough time. Um, so, so being aware of the thoughts that you're having, maybe about yourself or your child, um, the emotions and body sensations that are coming up for you. And you just name to yourself, um, you know, this is, this is really hard right now, or I'm really having a tough time. And the second step is to remind yourself that you are not alone, um, that all people struggle at times, all parents um, have hard moments with their kids. Um, so you're really just kind of normalizing your experience. Um, so you might, again, say something to yourself along the lines of all parents feel this way sometimes or it's normal to feel this way. And then the third step is really to offer yourself kindness in that moment. So you might say something like, may I be gentle with myself or may I take it easy on myself? Or you might ask yourself, you know, what do I need in this moment? Um, and then... You can also, um, of course, take some deep breaths while you're doing this practice and um, maybe give yourself, um, you know, some kind of physical touch that you find regulating. So for me, a hand over my heart and maybe one on my stomach. Um, that feels very supportive and soothing for me. You might try some other kind of, you know, just gentle touch or movement. Um, 
And so, you know, this is just a short um, but effective mindfulness practice, again, that you can use um, anytime you're having a difficult parenting moment and you notice that you're, you know, being, being hard on yourself. Um, and ultimately, you know, the goal um, as parents and caregivers is to be able to um, use this as a self-regulating practice so that you can really show up um, for your kids with um, kindness, compassion, empathy, um, and help provide that co-regulation for them um, when they're having their hard moments.